my mother's day. Moving was a more solemn day. Whoa, I love this box. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue.
Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Did you see those Karja walk past? May all mother forget them and all their worthless deeds. I could use another brew or two. Hello, Aloy. What you have in mind? Goodbye for now, and good luck in the proving. Drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on this girl. Huh? Listen down carefully from now. There now. But, but you'll have to tell us what you want is for me to sister. fall on my head. Shame that musician. All life came from all yeah. mother. You know, the one with that long, dark hair. Beasts. All you picked the wrong children. Nora to speak to, outcast. They alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. 
They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with All Mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the Faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines. A machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. And then, the Faithless served him. Served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever, as you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the Faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Interesting. Listen carefully now. Boss, boss, boss. But you'll have to tell this what when about I'm gone. Bala? She's in strong. the beginning. Blood of a war from all ah, Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right. Let's do this. Then, time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy.
acting like these cursed Karja are honored guests. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. King yeah. of Avad. Killers and the slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold Avad. your fruit, nor, uh, uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> People of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, know the Karja stand with you as the sun rises, the stoutest breeze, he's wearing a focus, just like mine, take their places among your brave, where did he find a focus? I won't let the Karja faithless stop me. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora, wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll. I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. He got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match.
What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Uh, oh! Expecting more tomatoes? In truth, I... I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up, or do anything else that angers these people. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. takes flight, a glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Of course Bast is going to win. Just look at him. Bast, Bast, Bast. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief. I'm with my major
Hello, Owen. You know my name? Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the Proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. 
The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? <laughs> 